Hi, I'm Freddie from Nugent Audio, and today I'm talking about Halo Up Mix. Halo Up Mix is an up mixing plugin which you can use to take audio of a lower channel count and promote it up to a higher channel count. So that might mean, for example, taking stereo stems and up mixing them into a higher channel count to be part of a Dolby Atmos mix. It might also mean if you have a plugin which only works in stereo but you want to use it as part of an Atmos mix, then you can use Halo Up Mix after that plugin in the chain to create, for example, a surround reverb or a surround delay or whatever it might be. Halo Up Mix as standard goes up to 5.1 and 7.1. And if you have the optional 3D extension, then it also goes up to 7.1.2, 7.1.4, and first, second, and third order ambisonic. So you can see here in this session, I'm working in 7.1.2. So that means I have this extra view at the bottom. So let me just talk through what Halo Up Mix actually does. Halo Up Mix doesn't add anything to the audio signal. Anything which is spread out around the surround field by Halo Up Mix was in the original audio. So that means if you down mix it at a later date, there hasn't been anything added, so you won't get any phase smearing or anything like that. That's because it doesn't use any artificial reverb, it doesn't use any artificial chorusing or delay, it doesn't double up any of the audio. It just listens to what it's hearing, and moves that around the surround space, attempting to create a coherent spatial upmix. So that means that your dialogue or your vocals should go front and center, more ambient sounds will be sent to the back, and the phase relationships will be maintained, essentially. Um, so you have various different controls. At the top here, you have some arc controls, which allow you to dictate how far around the surround field the audio is moving. So you can see, as I'm spreading those arcs further out, the audio intensity is getting further. That's represented by the blue lights that you can see in this haze view on screen. The lighter the blue, the more intense the audio in that part of the room. So this is kind of like a top-down view of the surround space. If you are working 3D, then you also have this rectangular view at the bottom, which is more like a floor-to-ceiling view of where the audio is in the space. If I move these controls, you can see that the intensity moves from the bottom of the room to the top, um, and that's also represented by a change in colour in the uh, circular haze um, above that. So this is the main view. Beyond that, you do have a few other views. If you go to the I.O. page here, then you do have individual control over the levels of different channels. If you go to the centre view, then you're just controlling the LCR channels. At the bottom as well, you have this exact function. What that means is, if you enable exact, then a later down mix, as long as you're using standard down mix coefficients, it should sound exactly the same as the original stereo mix or the original 5.1 mix or whatever you're up mixing from. If that exact function isn't switched on, it's still going to sound very, very close, but just perhaps not quite exactly the same. This has been a close look at Halo Up Mix. If you have any questions, then please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.